Hey everybody, it's Renee Signs. Just wanted to do a uh, quick video and show you guys what I'm up to. Um, I actually managed to get uh, a fuselage laid up this week, so um, you know, got my molds ready, prepped them, uh, uh, got them all. It took me a while to clean them up. That was actually the hardest part. Um, and then I used a product called uh, Free Coat, so I used their cleaner and their mold conditioner and their mold release. Um, and that took, it took a bit of time, but um, it actually should pay off here uh, uh, on the back end, uh, pulling parts too, so we'll see how that works. Uh, it, it did really well on some of these other parts that I, I uh, laid up, so I'm looking forward to, to using that and seeing how it turned out uh, with this fuselage. But um, anyway, laid up uh, two halves. Uh, I got the other one uh, all ready to go. Um, and now I'm going to take this one to the second one I, uh, I laid up last night. So this has had uh, probably close to 20 hours uh, curing. Uh, and I had it on the vacuum for a couple of hours. So it's time to, uh, time to pull it out of the bag. And one of the things I was worried about was this tacky tape sticking to the to the free cups. It's pretty slick. Uh, it's good stuff, uh, but, uh, but it worked out well. I'm also using a thin, stretchy uh, plastic for my bagging material, uh, and that worked out pretty well, so I'm going to keep using it. Uh, this is coming up pretty... See that? My vacuum fitting. I want to make sure you're able to see everything all right. Um, looks like everything set down pretty good. I couldn't, uh, you know, I left the pump running for a couple of hours. Um, didn't leave it running as long as I would have liked to. It, uh, I think it's kind of loud. Um, and uh, I got neighbors, and I want to make sure I don't have any problems with them. So, I shut things down around 11 o'clock, I think, but it should have, uh, should be plenty of time for a decent park. All right, so now, where do I start with this? careful here on the ends. I don't want to pull up the, uh, the part. I don't want to pull it away from the mold. Um, I noticed on my other one that, yep, here it goes. Some of the areas are starting to want to lift. Um, prematurely. Been a couple hours, almost, uh, just uh, laying each one of these up. So when I was done. I was pretty, I was pretty wore out. You know, the original uh, idea was just to, to lay one up, Let's see how it goes, but. Uh, I got a little too excited and it just started laying up another one before I knew it. So it's kind of hard, you know, you spend so much time on these things. Uh, and I've been, work, I've been working on this for this project for 
a long time, and I want it's get, starting to get to where I can see some parts coming out. I just don't want to stop. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that goes through that. I'm also using a, uh, a peel ply called Kano Release. It's got some um, red, a red thread and red lines. It kind of gives you an idea. I kind of like it because when you start putting down this stuff, it starts all looking the same when it starts getting wet with resin. So I can tell where I've laid down this uh, peel ply. There's a couple of spots where I, where I screwed up on my other part where I didn't um, put down enough uh, peel ply. So some of the matting, not a lot, but smaller, small sections were. The matting stuck to the part. Nothing critical. It's just it's probably much more annoying than anything. Uh, just kind of learn as you go along, as you do these. I don't know how many websites and videos and books I've read. You know, there's nothing, nothing like doing it yourself uh, to learn how this all happens. lift one of these edges up so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the middle out so I can peel it from the center out The other part I took out of the bag, it was still a little, a little green, and it was easier to get yeah, easier to trim. Uh, but I was just getting tired. I was ready to go to bed, uh, and I wanted this to cure out some more. It was still fairly wet, so I didn't, didn't do that with this one. But, I can already tell this one's, this one seems to come out okay, so far, for no section at least. I used a um, couple of layers of cloth. I, I started with, uh, I think it was two or two and a half, half ounce, uh, just plain weave. Um, just to get a nice surface. Um, then I went to the heavier, went to a, a nine ounce cloth after that. And, um, and then after that, I started laying in some of my reinforcements, carbon, uh, some core, foam core, uh, some honeycomb core also in certain areas. Wherever I thought I needed it. And, uh, uh, then um, the areas that had a core uh, put down, uh, then I put another layer of uh, two, 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 two and a half ounce cloth uh, to seal up that. In that area, so should be pretty strong. Uh, but I put down some of this uh, honeycomb matting in certain areas. Um, 
and just to get a little bit of stiffness uh, and some durability at the bottom of the fuse. Uh, this is a prototype, so uh, we're going to learn how to fly with this. Um, this model, uh, make sure I get it all dialed in. Um, so, thought I'd build this first one a little, little stronger. Set up, you know. I noticed where a lot of people, where they've the bottom of the fuselage gets uh, sometimes hits the pavement when it starts to pogo a little bit on landing. So I toughen that area up a little bit. So anyway, this is going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to keep working at this, and then uh, we'll come back at you. All right, I'm back. Just uh, took some time there to get the. Uh, took me a while to get the, you know, all this matting and peel ply off this. Um, and uh, I'm not as happy with this second one, which I think is kind of kind of weird. Now you think this, the, the, my second one would be better than the first, but <clears throat> it's all because I, I didn't put this one under vacuum long enough. So I know there's some areas that didn't suck down quite as quite as well, but it's still. You know, it's still not bad, uh, so I'm going to hang on to it. I was, I was tempted to just pull it out and lay up another one, but uh, this is still this is too good to toss, so, uh, especially for a prototype, so I'm going to keep going with it um, and use it. There's a little bit of repairs I need to do to it uh, uh, right around here. It looks like for whatever reason, this um, layer of cloth came up. Uh, on this edge here, so and there's a couple of spots too where it wanted to lift up out of the mold. So I got to be careful gluing this uh, these two halves together. Uh, this mold release is a lot better, um, a lot better than I thought. So I need to be careful. Um, here's the other half. Came out really well. So uh, definitely spent more time on it and, and got some more uh, time in the vacuum. So that's a, a good lesson learned. So. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some bulkheads together, start laying out some of the internals, um, and, uh, and then just glue it up and see what we come up with. So until then, stay tuned.